Hello, I'm David from Eden Motor Group, and today we're going to do a first impressions and first analysis video on the brand new Mazda CX-60 that has just been revealed not a few hours ago. Now, I have worked for Mazda for nearly five years, so let's break it down and see what we can find. But let's start unpacking this video from the beginning. We've got some lovely trees here. We've got a guy walking up the trees, but let's skip ahead to where we start seeing the car. So... First of all, the design of the car looks absolutely incredible. That, to me, looks like the steering wheel is slightly thicker, but does follow the same design of the CX-30, MX-30, and Mazda 3 in terms of the interior section. Over here, we can see the first full frontal shot of the car. We've got some rather lovely diamond cut wheels, a new styling choice as well for Mazda with the vertical slate on the grill as well, which we have not seen yet. We've got slightly smaller uh, headlamps as well, more ingressed into the bodywork. And we can also see the parking sensors as well. Now, there could be some hidden in the grill, uh, which is something that Mazda have done very well to make their car look way more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it also looks to me like Mazda have continued the trend of hiding their windscreen wiper spindles underneath the bonnet that makes it more aerodynamic and of course it makes it look far prettier you get that fluid kodo design in motion which is which is lovely it looks to me looking at this shot that the wing mirrors are the same on the cx5 so if you maybe if i could do some editing very quickly and pop a cx5 next to it you might be able to get an idea of the scale of the car obviously the car is going to be bigger than the cx5 Obviously, we've got the PHEV over here for plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. And on this model, at least, it looks like we've got body-colored door trims, much like the GT for the CX-5 in the UK. We've also got the daytime running lights over here looking rather evil, looking lovely. Ah, and if we go back a shot, we can see, yes, that's where the radar-guided cruise control is, and we can now see where the other two parking sensors are at the front as well. So the car will have radar-guided cruise control, at least on one of the models. And over here, look, we can see these are, which weren't on in the previous image, but looked like another sliver of daytime running lights, looking very nice. The rear end, you can see, you can see the boot is already bigger than the CX-5, and of course we got a, a bigger plug-in section here for not only fuel, I imagine, but electric as well. I'm not sure where it's going to be yet. And we've got ingressed exhausts into the bumper as well. Much more of that premium Mazda feel um, that they've been going for recently. It looks incredible. Now, this one here, quite interestingly, has black colored door mirrors and black front grille and black over here. Now, the CX-5 in the UK has got a version called the Sport Black and the Sport Black Edition, where they, instead of having a chrome bumper, they have a black bumper, black wheels, which this one also looks like it's got, um, and, uh, and this one looks to be probably something along those lines. So interior-wise, that looks amazing. That is almost certainly Nappa leather. It's very difficult to tell from here, but that's almost certainly Nappa leather, but it looks like a, a cloth or almost jean or denim or... Or, uh, or tweed sort of stripe down the middle as well. This is incredible. So this over here on the right hand side looks to be, again, some kind of ultra suede or, or, or Alcantara suede. Light headlining in this one as well. Obviously this one's left hand drive. Uh, we've got Mazda's auto dipping, auto dimming mirror up here, I should say. This, I, I wanna say it's wood, but it could be plaid leather. And this looks very similar to the MX-30's recycled bottles that are on the interior of the vehicle. So that's a possibility as well. Light leather in this one. It looks like we either have a bigger screen or a bigger surface area of the screen here too, but in that traditional Mazda section so that it doesn't obscure any of the windscreen and you can look at it in your peripheral vision. Look at that. It's some kind of ultra space age tweed almost. It looks amazing. Oh, let's go back a second here. Here we go, let's look at some controls. So this one in particular has heated steering wheel, heated seats, and front air-cooled seats as well. We've got the fan controls here. This is a layout that we're not used to seeing um, in any of the Mazdas so far. Dual zone climate control in this particular um, vehicle with the air conditioning over here. This looks like uh, circulating air here. So a standard dual zone climate control unit. This over here, I don't know, is it for glasses? Is it for, for cups? I would imagine almost certainly it's probably a cup holder. Mazda like putting their cup holders in front so you don't you have more space in the central armrest. That over there looks to be the sport button. This looks like the parking brake over here. And we've got the same 
MX-30 gear stick or drive shift um, with the start button over here as well and the uh, the hazards up there. We've got the Mazda Command Center. Oh, let's go and look back at the steering wheel. So, in section wise, so this section here and this section here, that is the same as the MX-30 How and, and the CX-30 and the Mazda 3. However, this branch and the outside of the steering wheel, that's definitely thicker, that's new, looks to be butterfly stitching. And if we look behind the steering wheel, we can also see that it's got a fully digital gauge cluster, which is awesome. Oh man, that the rear end and the front lights look incredible in the dark, don't they? Look at that. Oh, that looks lovely. And here we've got one in machine gray. This one's got the chrome grill look, we can see that. Let's pause that, is there anything we can notice from here? No chrome on these bits over here. It looks to have body colored door mirrors and still have the light interior, although it's very difficult to tell. Uh, nothing I can really tell from here. This actually, to me, looks like a rendering rather than the actual car, but I could be wrong. Again, this is definitely real car footage. And again, this is almost certainly real car footage as well. Uh, it's very difficult to tell if that's snowflake white or ceramic. If I was a, a guess, I'd say that's probably snowflake white, which is Mazda's rather beautiful uh, metallic pearlescent uh, white color. Obviously, soul red crystal for uh, the hero there. Ah, it's got it's got black there as well. I'm very convinced that's a sport black, but we we'll we'll find out. I'm sure. Interestingly, and we can see it very quickly here as well. It looks to have pulsating indicators as we go across. So they'll flash more and then flash less. So very quickly, before we look on the website and have a look at the specifications of the vehicle, hopefully, there is a way you can be kept informed about specifications, prices, any news updates, and when cars will be appearing in the dealership. Let me show you how. So here's the great news. If you want to keep up to date with all of the latest Mazda CX-60 information, all you have to do is go to the link in the video description like this, click on this link and it will take you directly through to this page. You'll be able to click that little button right here and that will take you to Mazda's form. This form is directly from Mazda UK and they will be able to keep you up to date with absolutely everything that's going on CX-60. When specifications launch, brochures, when they arrive in the dealership, everything will be through here. Okay, so we're on the website here and we can get a few more bits of information. Um, CO2 balance, it looks to me like you can go up to 39 miles in electric mode, which is absolutely incredible. And you've got Mazda's new eight speed automatic transition. This was something that was patented probably two and a half to three years ago, roughly around the same sort of time the uh, six cylinder Skyactiv X engine was patented as well. So it'd be really interesting to have a look at that new eight speed automatic transmission, although it does say it's subject to final homologation, so it needs to go through some tests first. Okay, so this is really interesting. Performance, the first plug-in hybrid, 17.8 kilowatt hour battery, combined output of 327 horsepower. That's about 333 PS, roughly, which is, well, it's double what the automatic CX-5 the standard automatic CX-5 Sport gets in the UK right now. Again, it's subject to final homologation, but that is incredible. That's going to go. And here we go. The price reveal exclusive line from £43,950. Exterior has hands-free power lift tailgate, so I'm imagining you swipe your feet underneath it and it will open up. A 12.3 color entertainment system. That is bigger than any Mazda to date, which is incredible. Uh, heated steering wheel, black leather seats, and heated front seats as well. So this looks to be the standard vehicle, which looks amazing. Does come with a head-up display, does come with smart keyless entry as well, which is awesome. And there looks to be a comfort pack, a convenience pack right now, and a driver assistance pack. We'll go through that in a moment. Let's look at the other one. So there's the Homura, which is the one with the black bits in it. Not called a Sport Black, but looks to me black metallic alloy wheels. It looks to be the equivalent of Mazda's Sport Black for the CX-5 in the UK. It looks incredible. Heated outer rear seats and Mazda's new personalization system. Sounds exciting. Sporty appearance, black leather and ambient lighting. Once again, convenience pack, driver assistance pack, 
And a panoramic sunroof as well. Very nice. Don't think we've seen a panoramic sunroof from Mazda yet, so that's incredible. And that's from 46,700. And then this looks to be the top of the range, the daddy, the Takumi. I'm hopefully not butchering that. White Nappa leather, Japanese premium, the highest quality materials. Wow. And again, convenience pack, driver assistance pack, and panoramic sunroof. As it turns out, the car is rear wheel drive. The all new rear wheel drive platform offers a much better distribution force of an accelerating braking. That it will do, especially if it's got um, a 50-50 weight distribution. You put the batteries in the back and the engine in the front. I don't know how it's laid out yet, but if that's what it is, as you accelerate forward, the back of the car will squat, giving more grip for the, for the rear wheels as well, which is nice. Also, trying to put 327 supposed horsepower just through the front wheels, might end up being a bit of a, a bit of a problem because that's a lot of power to go through just the front wheels. And that looks to be everything that we have seen so far. Click the link in the video description. That will keep you informed of any further updates on prices of power and brochures when the cars are in the showroom as well. Don't forget to hit like on the video as well as it helps us out massively and it lets us know that you want us to do more reveal stuff in the future. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because of course I will be covering more CX60 news and by clicking subscribe and the notification bell, that means that you'll know when one of our videos goes live and we can do more like this in the future too. Finally, of course, if you want to watch another video of ours right now, don't forget you can click, well, this annotation over here, and that will take you to the Mazda CX-5 that I've gone through recently, or you can click the other side, and that will take you through a load of electric car stuff like regenerative braking. It's a playlist that shows how much does it cost to own an EV, and quite a lot of it is applicable to hybrids as well. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.